Good morning. This will be the weekly reading for Leo. And the first card that we have is the contemplation card. And the message that I'm getting for this card is that you've been very nostalgic and just kind of looking back over your past and even feeling maybe a little um, regretful. Maybe about a road um, or a path that you feel like you should have taken that you didn't take or um, something that you feel like you did wrong. You also have, um, to clarify that contemplation card, um, you have the flaws, contradictions, and mistake. So once again, I do feel like you've been looking back and um, feeling like you made a lot of a lot of mistakes and there are no mistakes on a soul's journey and that's all life is is a soul's journey and everything that has happened up until now has led you to where you are and think about all of all that you've learned and how much that you've grown and it was all divinely guided so don't look back on it as being um mistakes that you made because everything happened just like it was supposed to and also it's very important to stay present in the present moment because that is where your power's at and don't be anxious about the future because you have the star card and this is the wish upon a star card um, this is how i look at it and so this is letting you know that you create your own reality. So make sure that you're focused on what you want more of. And this is going to involve really um, a lot of soul searching. And your soul is going to guide you and, and it makes no mistakes. And so make sure you're focused on what you want and not what you want more of. And when you're focused on things that have happened in the past, um, it distracts you from focusing on what you do want and manifesting that into your life. Because to clarify the star card, we have the knowledge card, which is study, learning, education. But the way that I take this is life's, um, life's knowledge, everything that you've learned um, so far on your life's journey. So make sure that you... Um, really tap into that and really know what all that you've learned and if you actually look back on everything that's happened if you do look back on it look back on it instead of with nostalgia or regret try to figure out what the lessons were in all of it and why it happened um because all lessons repeat until they're learned so that's the message that i got from spirit with that and then we have the Ace of Staves, which um, the Staves is the, the wands in the traditional tarot. And the wands are all about action and forward moving um, movement. And so this is a new beginning. And this is, um, this is a new beginning. Endings have, have end, you know, there have been endings and this is a, a new cycle that's starting for you. Um, and this is all about releasing the illusion of control because <clears throat> control is nothing but an illusion anyway. And so um, this is all about letting things happen naturally and not pushing and not trying to control things because when you do that, you keep them away. Because to clarify the Ace of Staves, you got the Prey card, Stalked, Invaded, Watched. And what I'm getting from this is that you've just been really going hard for what you want. Now, that is good, and I'm not saying that being a hard worker or being real ambitious is a bad thing. But a lot of times we have to loosen our grip because when we hold on too tight to something or we want it too badly, it can't come to us. We're not letting that energy flow. So this is all about loosening up uh, your grip and letting go of the illusion of control because you have no control anyway because whatever is going to happen is going to happen and this is all about accepting it as you go and taking in knowledge of what everything is trying to teach you and knowing that the universe has your back and everything is perfect at any given moment as you go along 
because then you have the fertility card and this is all about um, you have things in your life that you are about to manifest that are coming towards you you just have to be open to receive and not be controlling or pushing a lot of times when we do that we miss the forest from the trees and if we just sit back and open ourselves up to the things that the universe has in store for us they can come to us because this is the fertility card and you are ready and this could be love this could be money this could be both but they are coming to you because to clarify the fertility card you have the compassion card which is empathy sympathy and kindness and what I'm getting from this card is that you are an empathetic person and you are a kind person and the reason why is because you have been through things yourself and this allows you to really be empathetic towards others that are going through things and um, this might even have something to do there's a message coming through uh, this might even have something to do with what you're supposed to do for a living maybe you're supposed to be in the medical field or a teacher or a social worker because you do have that empathy and that sympathy and that compassion and then this card here this education card it could mean if you've been contemplating going to school for an occupation like this then these cards are letting you know go ahead and do that the time is right because you are fertile you're ripe right now so then we have the ace of swords and this is a new beginning um, you are actually moving out of the old energy and out of mental conflict and I'm trying not to say um because apparently what I'm thinking I say um about a hundred times and someone had commented on one of my videos you know you say um about a hundred times you need to be more confident when you speak so I'm trying to be mindful not to do that I'm gonna have to do something else it's just when I'm thinking that's what I say so it's not really like a lack of confidence it's just what I say when I'm thinking so excuse that so the ace of swords is a new beginning because you have been in mental conflict and kind of in the past and been regretful and been kind of um, looking back and so you are going to be a new energy because to clarify the ace of swords you have the burnt by the sun ambition extension reach so yes this definitely goes with what I was saying earlier about it's all right to be ambitious and to um, work hard and to push but sometimes when you push so hard you push things away so this is all about being balanced do play do take vacations do spend time with friends and family and enjoy life that message just came through enjoy life I mean don't just work your life away a lot of times people just work their life away and then another message that's coming through you know and and they work their life away for a job that's not rewarding when you're feeling like you want to do something to help others and that would be more rewarding and even if it meant making less money your life would be more fulfilled and more enriching and so go back to school and get the training to do that I mean that message has came through here today very clearly because then we have the courtship card and so I do feel like romance is coming your way. Remember I had said about this fertility card about um, you're ready. And the wish upon a star card, make sure that you're focused on what you want and not what you don't want. Well, I do see if you already are in a relationship, that is ascending to the next level. There is going to be um, a lot of courtship, spending a lot of time. Um, going out on dates, getting to know each other better. But I also feel like the message that's coming through for this card is to take your time, that you've rushed into other relationships before, and really get to know each other before 
before you sleep together, before you move in together. Just take your time. That is the message that I'm getting with this card. Because then you have the occupation card, and I feel like this too goes along with this and with this. It's time to change occupations, to do something that's more fulfilling, more rewarding. And you've been thinking about it, and this reading here today is telling you to go, go for it. You change occupations and uh, just make a positive change in your life. You know, and the message that I got just now is, what are you waiting for? You know, you've, you've been waiting for this to happen or that to happen or maybe waiting for the kids to get older or... It just feels like you've put your life on hold for others and it's really time to just move forward for yourself. That's the message that I got just now. Because you got the message card. <laughs> So this also, you know, is confirmation about everything that I've said today. Plus, if you've been waiting to hear something, I don't care what it is. If you've been waiting for some kind of message, it could be about employment. It could be um, about a love, a love partner, romantic partner. This is letting you know that that message is coming. You're going to receive news soon. It's going to be the news that you've been uh, wanting to hear. So be open to that too. But yes, this is a very positive reading. And I feel like for the most part, you are a very positive person. You've kind of looked back and I feel like this regret card too has to do with maybe this knowledge and this card here and this card here. Maybe this is something that you wanted to do out of school and you're looking back on it now and you're like, well, I wish I had just gone ahead and gone to college and got this degree so I could do what I originally wanted, but my parents wanted me to do something else or, or I, I, you know, got pregnant, got married, you know, whatever it is. Um, life got in the way and so now you're kind of looking back on it like you made mistakes but there are no mistakes because everything and every place that you've been so far has prepared you and you might not have even been ready because if you would have gone to school or whatever right out of high school you might not have been mature enough I mean I when I was going to college I went to Ball State University and I had a child right and you know in high school so I had to go right to college and when I got there um, there were so many kids who really didn't take it seriously who just blew it off who like completely failed out the first year because they just weren't ready for it and it was really tough so you know it could have been a situation like that maybe you needed all of this to grow to become fertile so that you could pursue sue your dreams and it doesn't necessarily have to be school I mean any type of changes that you're trying to make in your life the time is now that's the message that I've gotten the time is now if you're trying to make changes do it now and and you know the universe has gave you the green light and that's the message today so this is your weekly reading Leo and thanks for watching do subscribe and I'll put my contact information in the description of the video